Well, my basic job is basically just helping patients rehabilitate themselves, helping with washes, um, helping getting dressed. Oh, my mum thought it was great. <laughs> Because um, her sister was a nurse. Now, I applied for the job without training, um, but I'd also done some courses along the way. My first job was actually working as a care assistant. With the employment training now, um, they um, basically um, get you ready for going into the job, how to talk to people, confidentiality. If it's a role for you to undertake, I'd say very for go for it. The training that you'll get, it's not, it's, it's not difficult to understand. As long as you're um, outgoing, very friendly, and um, can take on board different um, tasks, because it can be very stressful at times, and it can be very enjoyable. You get to meet a lot of different patients. Um, you get to know all about them. As a team, we pull together and we support each other. We speak to your ward manager and you need that extra time off. She's willing to give you that support. Well, the nurses will be struggling. They need clinical support workers to help them get their jobs done. We help save lives. You need to be um, quite clear of what you're doing and um, very forthcoming. Yeah, you have different shifts every two months or so, your night shift, I'd say. You can get into nursing from this. Um, you can actually go and do your training. At the moment, I'm only doing um, um, MVQ2. So once I've done that, finished that, I um, can do the MVQ3 and then go on to do my taps afterwards. Or you can actually continue doing a few more courses and develop your own patients. I believe that healthcare support workers are actually needed. And the more there is, the better, I'd say.